And uh, in the interest of full disclosure, I was here once with Steve. It was when I first moved to Denver and he had flown in to change my mind. But by then I had met you. Who is Steve? I'll take those. Steve. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> look at you. Oh, look at you. I got your call. Yes, and I thought you were going to call me back. I was just right around the corner. I couldn't wait, so I staked out your hotel. Figured you'd show up sooner or later. I think that was our song. We never had a song. We should have had one. So why'd you leave DC? To get away from you. Mm. Ouch. I always know where I stand with you. But I never knew where I stood with you, Steve. And then I finally realized that's bad for relationships. But it's what makes you so good at your job. I wasn't going to call you. But now, I guess I need you. Good. I'll see what I can do. I had you vetted. It's what we do around here. As it turns out, you're what we call a solid citizen. Oh, I'll take that as a compliment. Maybe Shane has good taste. So, are they going to charge you with anything? Probably not, but if I do get arrested, they'll bail me out, right? I heard that Oliver came into a good sum of money. How do you know that? Oh, never mind. I don't think all that money's going to change him, though. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you were going to give me another chance. Ah. <laughs> well, there's nothing actually official between... between Oliver and me. Steve? Sorry to drop in like this, but could we, can we speak privately? No. This isn't a personal visit, Shane. There's a crisis in DC and I need you there now. Well, tonight. What, are you crazy? It's a crisis situation. I need the best hackers in the business, and I, I need somebody who knows USPS. Look, you gotta trust me on this. You need to go inside, pack a bag, grab your passport. We got a plane waiting for us at Buckley Airfield. Oliver, we're gonna have to go radio silence on this. That means no calls, no texts, no emails, no, no regular mail. Yes, but surely... Once they're broken up into the teams, they're gonna be incommunicado for the duration. Now, we really gotta roll. Where's Shane? She's out of the country. You told me you would keep her safe. She's safe. How do you know if she's out of the country? Unless you can provide compelling reasons to the contrary, I would like my employee back now. You can't have her back. She's critical to the mission. Oh, I'll bet she is. Listen, Oliver, I understand your situation. No, you don't. And that situation has changed. Tell me the truth. Am I here because you need me or because you want me? What kind of a guy flies all the way down here and then leaves without getting what he came for? The kind of man that lets me make up my own mind. But I can't do that unless I have all the facts. Okay. Crisis is over. I could shut down your part of the operation, but I don't want to. For security reasons and for personal reasons. What? Do you really think that delivering Old letters is as important as some of the world-changing stuff that we do here every day. Are you really telling me you want to throw all that away for a squeaky porch swing in Denver? <sighs> you want to know the truth? Please. I'm still in love with you.